Okay, let's start business. So now we move to open fun. Okay, so we're starting model one. Okay, so this first video is about a brief introduction about about open fun. So if you know what is open fun, you can skip this video or will otherwise just follow it. So so what is open fun? Here you have a small short definition, but what is important here that just to identify that it is a C++ library that you can use to solve PDAs or ODEs. Okay, so PDAs is any equation that you can express as a partial differential equation you can solve. So the most common ones are Navier-Stokes equation, but anything that you can put in that form of partial differential equation or ordinary differential equations, it can be solved. Okay, it comes with many ready to use or out of the box, box solvers, preprocessing utilities and post-processing utility so there is no need to program okay and i would stress this again i already mentioned but we are not going to focus into the programming part we're going to focus more into the part of the practical aspects as a user what you need to to know okay programming is something more 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 advanced so it's better to to, to, to know how to use OpenFun and then you can move into the programming part. So it's distributed under this license, so it's something free. You can do whatever you want with that, even for commercial activities. It runs in parallel, okay? So parallel means you can use more computers, faster outcomes, more memory, larger pro uh, uh, problems. Uh, it is under active development, and this is good. You know, <laughs> this is something that is not going to get installed in the near future, okay? And you have a very widespread user base, you are here also because you want to become a user. A user. So regarding the multi-physics capabilities, pretty much every, uh, <clears throat> pretty much when we talk about multi-physics, it's not, it's not anymore the CFD, CFD multi-physics also embrace uh, the computational fluid dynamics part, but also we have computational heat transfer, conjugate heat transfer, combustion, multi-phase flows, mass transfer, particle methods, and like Lagrangian particles tracking, stress analysis, moving bodies, all this stuff can be addressed using OpenFun, okay? Then also modeling capabilities because we have a lot of models, we need those models, okay, many times in order to get closer for, for those PDE that we're solving. So you have extensive uh, trans modeling capabilities, also transport models, okay, Newtonian, non-Newtonian flows, thermophysical models, you can add sources, also Lagrangian particles models. You have mass transfer models, and then things can get even more complicated. The stuff like combustion, flame speed, chemical reactions, and so on. Okay, so under the hood, what we have there, what method does open for use? Use the finite volume me uh, method. Okay, and be and more specifically, use collocated polyhedral instructor mesh. Okay, so you can put any cell type. So far, to my understanding, my experience, there is no limitation in the, in the shape. Okay, and it is collocated in the sense that you will find the solution in the cell center when we address the finite volume method the theory we're going to to clarify what is that for those who doesn't know that it you will have second order accuracy in space and time which is important because the pds that we're solving most of the time is second order accu accuracy so we want to have the same level of accuracy there are many discretizations uh methods available even there are higher higher than two order of accuracy okay you can you have a steady transient solvers okay uh, for the pressure velocity coupling, in the case of navier stokes equations, it used segregated methods, specifically simple and piece of methods. But also, we, there are couple solvers that are, are under active development. You won't find those couple solvers in the official version, but the community, in the community, you will find many, many of them. Okay, it has massive parallel, parallelism using domain decomposition. Okay, it has its own meshing tool which is very important okay you need to rely rely on some external tools so we are going to to, to do some mesh generation later uh and also comes with many post-processing utilities okay to do sampling in points lines surfaces and so on okay so comparing open form with commercial products they is very similar okay and open phone tends to mirror the capabilities of those commercial applications and even sometimes you you will find that open phone is faster than commercial application and it's true you you will find that okay but the 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 main difference is that 
we don't have a native GUI in OpenF. Okay, you need to rely rely in the Linux bash shells. Okay, and that's why previous videos will address that. Okay, and during all this training, I think after these first tutorials that we're going to see, you are going to get familiar. But it's very important that you need to you need to know how to use the Linux bash shells. You need to be a guru, just a basic user. That's all. Uh, it does it does not come comes with predefined setups, meaning that you can you use commercial solver that is going to give you the best possible options to run your case. Here, you need to choose those options. So that means that you need to know a little bit about CFE, CFD basic because you need to be familiar with the jargon of, of CFD. There are many discretization schemes and stuff going on. And we're going to address that, okay? Uh, it is not a single executable. Probably this is the most confusing part or not the confusing part. A little bit difficult because you need to to to, to, to learn by heart you know, the name of this application. So we're going to use like piece of phone, pimple phone, interphone, whatever. Okay? So it's not a single executable, but is you know your specific application, just know that command and that's all, okay? Uh, something as well is not well documented, okay? However, we have the source code available, so probably this is the best documentation. Uh, as we have also the source code, there is no black magic, okay? Meaning that you know specifically what is going on. However, that requires that you need to to know how to program in C++ is based in C++. So this part of the source code, commercial software, they don't show you that. There are very rules, they work well, but at the end of the day, you don't know what is happening you now behind behind curtains, if you want to know that. If you, you don't care, don't pay attention to that. Uh, the solvers can be tailored, you now tailor-made, so for very specific uh, NIPs. So, Open comes with many solvers, but if you are not happy for with that, you can modify and add any any <clears throat> new capability. Okay, and there is no limitation in the number of processors cores that you can use. We have been able to run up to fifteen thousand cores. Okay, you need to get access to the computer. That is up to you, but there is no limitation. So basically, when you go and you start to read the source code, if you want to read it, okay, or if you want to implement something basic. Remember, we're not going to, to, to address in details programming, but just to show you how to write equations in, in OpenFund, you get this equation now that can be an equation, scalar transport, for instance. So if you want to, to solve this one, basically this is the syntax. So as you see, it's very straightforward, okay? So this is the high level programming, okay? We don't need to go down to the classes, just put something like that and automatically open phone will get access to everything and solve your equation. So this is in case that you want to implement something that doesn't exist in open phone or you want to extend its capabilities. So just to end this one off, so you see open phone is a excellent piece of C++ and software engineering, decent piece of CFD code. Huh? And this is coming now from one of the main developers of Open from very, very, very so as, you, as you start to, to read the source code, you will see that it has been written very well. Okay, <laughs> again, you need to know C++. When it comes to CFD, it does what whatever any CFD solver do. Okay, so this is a very well-known theory. So. This is all for this brief introduction. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time. Bye.